he made his intentions crystal clear. At the house of Yazid's governor of Medina, he raised his voice in defiance and strength. We are the household of the Prophet, to whom the divine angel brought the final message for guidance of mankind and the source of divine mission. And someone like me will never give allegiance to someone like him. After leaving the house, Imam Hussein ibn Ali السلام, headed towards a place where he would visit several times before finally departing Medina. He performed the ziyara of the blessed grave of his grandfather Prophet Muhammad Two of these visits are recorded in history. In one occasion, he spent the night worshipping God there. He was so engrossed in prayer that people could hear the sound of his weeping. There he uttered, O oh Allah, indeed this is the tomb of your Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, and I am the son of your Prophet's daughter. O oh Allah, I love the good and hate the evil. I beseech you, O oh Lord of majesty and honour, by this blessed grave and the one buried therein, select for me that which pleases you and your Prophet. It is clear that the ziyara gained Aba Abdullah salam further strength and determination to stand against injustice. It was not a mere farewell, but a declaration of true intent, infused with love and loyalty, highlighting that his cause is the cause of Rasulullah and indeed a divine mission. Today, ziyara to the blessed shrines of the Ahl al-Bayt including that of the Master of Martyrs, should serve as a powerful fuel and motivation to do good, change for the better, and serve others for the sake of God. Returning from ziyara to these blessed shrines should make us better, more focused on obedience to God, and more determined to improve, breaking shackles of egoism and slavery to desires, and taking steps to become better human beings as servants of God.